Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God! Hey, everybody, my name is Greg, and I'm with The Binge List, where we make recommendations for TV shows and movies that you can access from the comfort of your own home. As you can see, it is the Christmas season, so today we're going to go through 12 Christmas movies that are on my list to watch every single holiday season. Some unorthodox, some that you might be familiar with, and some true classics, but... I make these lists so next time you get some free time, you can actually sit back and relax and enjoy a movie that's actually a good one. So stop scrolling, stop wasting your time on something that's not that great, and hang out with me and in that same amount of time, we'll go through all 12 of these options and actually a bonus at the end. But let's get into the list, let's stop wasting time and unpack number one. Nobody's ever seen Santa Claus. In a world where the spirit of Christmas is slowly fading or being stolen, two ordinary kids have to embark on extraordinary adventures to save the holiday and bring the spirit of Christmas back to the world. This all takes place in the Christmas Chronicles series number one and number two. I personally love these movies. They're probably some of my favorites on this list, to be honest, uh, especially number one from Kurt Russell crushing it as Santa Claus to fresh takes on some very familiar stories. They're both great. In the original on Christmas Eve, Kate and Teddy are determined to capture Santa Claus on video to prove his existence. They end up in his sleigh, they surprise him, which leads to him accidentally crashing, causing him to lose his presents, his reindeer, and his magic hat. Then, two years after Kate and Teddy saved Christmas, the sequel picks up. Unexpectedly, they end up back in the North Pole when a mysterious villain threatens to cancel Christmas forever. Kate and newly introduced Jack have to team up with Santa and save Christmas again. These two movies are great if you're looking for something that's more in line with traditional Christmas movies. The story captures the magic of Christmas 100% of the time. They're heartwarming, they're entertaining, and they're an overall good time. These characters are relatable and lovable. Kate and Teddy in the original, and then Kate and Jack in the sequel. They're just two ordinary kids that are thrown into these extraordinary adventures who definitely do a great job at portraying the different types of family dynamics going on in the movies. Besides the Santa in Rise of the Guardians, Kurt Russell is probably my favorite portrayal of Santa ever, and it's definitely my favorite live-action portrayal. He is fantastic. Everything you want in a Santa. He is kind. He is jolly. Someone who truly cares about children. But he definitely breaks the typical Santa mold. This Santa does not say ho, ho, ho. He's annoyed that people always portray him as a fat guy in the, in the he calls it propaganda. This is action Santa. He's gritty. He's extremely intelligent. He's just cool, just downright badass Santa. And I can't forget to mention his lovable elves who add this touch of humor throughout this story. But the story is full of adventure, it has thrilling moments, from crashing Santa's sleigh to escaping the giant toy factory, the action sequences are well paced and exciting, as well as the movies themselves. They're visually stunning. The sets are beautiful and the costumes are festive and fun, whether it's set against the backdrop of the North Pole, big cities during the holidays, it looks great. So if you're looking for an instant Christmas classic, this is fun for the whole family, be sure to check out the Christmas Chronicle series number one and number two. We can be each other's holiday. Come on, friends with benefits never work. Next on our list is Holiday. This is a Christmas movie that doesn't take place around the Christmas season 100% of the time. There's glimpses of Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Cinco de Mayo, kind of get the idea. But is this a Christmas movie? Well, the advertising team says 100% yes, and so do I, because the big moments of this movie all happen around the Christmas season, at the mall, in front of a group of Christmas carolers, and really nothing is more Christmassy than a giant tree, bustling shoppers, and carolers at the mall. Again, with it being a Netflix original and a holiday rom-com, I went into it with no expectations or not really high expectations at all, but it was easy to watch, very funny, and another feel-good movie on this list. In the world of Chicago, Sloan and Jackson, two endlessly single strangers, are tired of the holiday pressures and annoying family expectations, so in a chance encounter at the mall after Christmas, they hatch a plan to become each other's holidays. Their pact is super simple. They will be each other's plus one for every holiday celebration, from New Year's Eve to Valentine's Day, without any strings attached. There's no romance, no expectations, just this platonic friendship. As they navigate the festival season together, Sloan and Jackson discover that the holiday derangement is more than just this convenient escape from the holiday pressures. They find themselves generally enjoying each other's company, sharing heartfelt conversations, and developing a really, really deep connection. I do really enjoy the leads in this movie. Emma Roberts and Luke Bracey deliver top-notch performances as Sloan and Jackson, bringing these characters to life with charisma and charm, and they have a really, really good chemistry with each other. They definitely help keep you rooting for them. Tons of humor, balancing the romantic elements with this witty banter and these hilarious situations that they get put into, plenty of laugh out loud moments throughout this movie. The film's lighthearted tone makes it enjoyable to watch, even for those that aren't typically fans of the rom-com genre. It does lean into some of the cliches, but not all the cliches of this genre. 
and it subverts that typical holiday rom-com trope by focusing on the platonic relationship that blossoms into something more as the movie goes through. I know this isn't 100% a Christmas movie in every single scene, but it has Christmas spirit and it's a heartwarming, engaging, and lighthearted rom-com to add to your holiday movie watch list. I'm your ghost of Christmas present. Like a Christmas carol? In the realm of Christmas movies, there is a special niche reserved for those that blend the heartwarming spirit of the seasons with a touch of the supernatural. Spirited, an Apple TV Plus exclusive, falls perfectly into this category. It's a modern day musical take on a Christmas classic, A Christmas Carol, starring Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds. At the heart of the story is Clint Briggs. He's a cynical businessman who embodies the Scrooge persona of the holiday spirit. However, as fate would have it, Clint's attitude is about to be challenged in the most unexpected way. On Christmas Eve, he finds himself visited by the three spirits, the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future, who embark on a mission to transform his icy heart. Guided by these spectral companions, Clint is whisked away on a journey through time, reliving pivotal moments from his past, witnessing the impact of the actions on those around him, and glimpsing the future. But it does not go exactly as planned for the ghosts, and the ghost of Christmas past actually takes this into his own hands. And while I was expecting this to be a very simple musical retelling of A Christmas Carol, it's actually way more than that. It's fitting this classic tale into the modern world for one, but also imagining how things, how things would have continued after that original story, as well as how the hauntings were created. This is definitely a fresh take on this very familiar story and even turns it into an extension of that original story. A movie starring Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds had me from the get-go, really. I enjoy both of them in most of the movies that they're in, and their chemistry and humor is what elevates this movie along with the support of some of the other stars like Octavia Spencer, Patrick Page, and Tracy Morgan, along with a bunch of cool cameos along the way. Spirited, it's fantastic original Apple TV Plus, or Plus movie. It has tons of humor, heart, holiday cheer, and like its predecessor, it's a film that reminds us of the transformative power of the Christmas spirit. With its captivating story, top, top-notch cast, and uplifting message, Spirit is a must-watch for the holiday season. This tale's not about presents, or Santa, or ponies. It's about three dudes, three bros, three ride-or-die homies. In New York City, three lifelong friends embark on their annual tradition of finding the holy grail of Christmas parties in the night before. You can find this one on Tubi, and at the beginning of this movie, Ethan, one of the main characters, loses his parents as a teenager, and his friends Chris and Isaac come in to help and help him not be alone during the holidays. They spend every Christmas for years playing GoldenEye on N64, doing karaoke, and partying as they get older. Isaac is played by Seth Rogen. Ethan, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Chris is played by Anthony Mackie. Now, they set out on this adventure, and the night quickly spirals out of control as they encounter a series of hilarious but heartwarming adventures. They run into old crushes, get chased by the police, and even end up in a hostage situation in this one. But through it all, their friendship remains strong. The themes surrounding this movie are 100% Christmas, but at its core, it is a buddy comedy film. The chemistry between Levitt, Rogan, and Mackie is undeniable. You get to see the highs, the lows of male friendship. They make each other laugh, they argue, they fight, but it always comes around where they have each other's back. The supporting cast is excellent, and there are a number of funny and extremely memorable supporting characters in this movie, including Jillian Bell, Lizzie Kaplan, and Michael Shannon. If you've enjoyed movies like Pineapple Express or The Interview, anything that Rogan or Evan Goldberg have put together, this is not too different from that, except it's a holiday movie. It's choked full of laugh-out-loud moments, as you'd expect from Rogan and Goldberg, but it's not all gags and weed jokes. It is generally touching in some of these scenes. I gotta say, I really enjoy the soundtrack of this. It is great with perfect mix of classic and contemporary Christmas songs, as well as some original tracks. And this movie is beautifully shot. It actually is shot in New York City. It captures the beauty of New York City at Christmas time very, very well. So if you're looking for a funny, heartwarming, and relatable movie, The Night Before is a must add to your Christmas movie checklist. Dating has never really been easy, but modern online dating? You're married is even harder. First on our list is Netflix's Love Hard, and I get it, Christmas-based romantic comedies can seem predictable, but hey, it's not just the destination, it's the journey that makes the ride worthwhile. Netflix original and rom-com, I wasn't expecting too much from this when I first turned it on, but I was pleasantly surprised with this movie. We meet Natalie Bauer, played by Nina Dobrev. She's a Los Angeles-based writer looking for love and finds herself swept off her feet by this guy, Josh Lynn, that she meets on the internet. Um, he's an East Coast guy, and they can't meet up in person right away 
away, but their virtual connection sparks like fireworks, and Natalie decides to surprise Josh by flying to his hometown for a cozy Christmas rendezvous. But here's the kicker. Upon arrival, Natalie realizes Josh has been catfishing her this entire time. What unfolds is a hilarious yet heartwarming tale of trust, second chances, and the unexpected turns of love. As Natalie navigates her emotions, heartbreak, and embarrassment, she decides to stick around for other reasons and ends up spending time with Josh. This leads a glimmer of hope. She realizes that Josh might not be this heartless villain that she imagined he was. Can she set aside her trust issues and give Josh a chance? Well, I'll let that up to you. You can check it out for yourself. But Nina Dobrev's portrayal of Natalie is super relatable in this movie. You'll find yourself rooting for her at every single turn, every single weird interaction or thing that happens but jimmy o yang as josh he's the comedic aspect of this for sure trust me his comedic timing and facial expressions are pure gold throughout this you really enjoy that but the supporting cast adds extra charm to making the movie fun and enjoyable to watch for the hour and 44 minute runtime it's also it's set against the beautiful backdrop of Lake Placid, New York during the festival season. This movie's atmosphere adds this like extra layer of holiday magic that you get to enjoy. But Love Hard just isn't about love. It's about how encounters can lead to beautiful surprises. It's a feel-good film that'll leave you smiling way after it's over. Hey everybody, if you're enjoying the content so far, take a second to like, to comment, or subscribe to the channel. It does really help us out. It doesn't cost you anything, but it gets our recommendations out to others who are looking for good TV shows and movies. But again, let's get back to the back half of this list and check it out. Operation Santa Claus is coming to town. Next up is Arthur Christmas, and this is a 2011 animated film that tells the story of Arthur Claus. The film was nominated for two Golden Globe Awards, including Best Animated Feature Film. This film is an excellent choice for a family movie night. It's full of heart, humor, and adventure. It has a strong message about the importance of family and teamwork. But on Christmas, Santa Claus is preparing to deliver presents to children all over the world, and his son Steve is in charge of this high-tech operation that helps Santa make these deliveries. With an army of these covert spy ninja elves who do a, bul a bulk of the heavy lifting throughout the movie and the present wrapping, however, one present accidentally gets lost in the shuffle. Arthur, Santa's youngest son, is determined to save Christmas. He sets out on this mission to deliver the lost present to a young girl in Cornwall, England. He is joined by joined on this mission by his grandfather, Grand Santa, a down for any adventure retired Santa Claus who is just full of Christmas spirit. Arthur and Grand Santa face many challenges on their journey, but they never give up. They use their ingenuity and teamwork to overcome every obstacle. The story is heartwarming and engaging, also jam-packed with tons of humorous moments for kids and for adults, actually. I had tons of laugh out loud moments myself. While full of Christmas cheer, this is sure to put you in the holiday spirit. The animation in this movie is beautiful and very, very unique. It has a different feel to the Disney, Pixar, and DreamWorks films that we're all very familiar with, so that definitely makes this stand out. It also features the voices of James McAvoy, Hugh Laurie, and Jim Broadbent. Overall, Arthur Christmas is an excellent choice for a family movie night. It is heartwarming, it's visually stunning, it's extremely funny, so it definitely deserves a spot on your watch list for this Christmas. Hello? Hi, is this Jacob Turner? I'm the executor of your mother's estate. She passed last week. Let's move on to one of the most recent additions to my Christmas watch list, and that is The Noel Diary. Like a few of the others on this list, it isn't your typical Christmas movie. Starring Justin Hartley, Barrett Doss, and Bonnie Beldele, it's a story about Jacob Turner, a man returning home after nearly two decades following his mother's passing. Jacob's journey starts off with a call from his lawyer discussing his inheritance of an estranged mother's estate, which kicks off a whirlwind of emotions for him right from the get-go, confronting painful memories and reconciling with his very difficult past. Once there, he discovers a diary that may hold secrets to even his own past, but then we meet Rachel Campbell, a beautiful woman on a mysterious journey of her own, looking for his help. I'll admit it, I initially watched this because of Justin Hartley, because I really enjoyed how he brought his character to life in This Is Us, and for the most part, I was pleasantly surprised by this movie overall. Despite its simplicity, the movie manages to keep you engaged by pulling on lots of different heartstrings throughout. The chemistry between the leads is very believable and engaging, but what made me check this movie out in the first place, in my opinion, is what stood out the most as well, and that is Hartley's performance. He brings a commanding presence in every single scene, he's delivering solid charm and charisma, making you root for his character through the entirety of the film. But I do want to address one thing about this movie, kind of the elephant in the room, that could have been handled a little bit better. Uh, not many movies are flawless, and the blemishes with this one is the primary romance feels a bit off and a little bit of a letdown due to one of the characters being engaged throughout, leading to some deceit and other things that weakens the romantic aspect, in my opinion. 
The Christmas vibes are strong though. The snowy scenery, the festive decorations, making it easy to watch and seeking that cozy Christmassy film. So if you're in the mood for a heartfelt, albeit imperfect Christmas movie, The Noel Diary might just be a sweet sentimental escape you're looking for. This is my fourth year as a Santa. How about you? I started the whole damn thing. I am super pumped to talk about this one because in the realm of film debates, few questions spark as much controversy as, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Josh Miller and Pat Casey decided to ask a different question. What if Die Hard was made to be a Christmas movie? Enter the world of Violent Night, a cinematic concoction that reshapes the age-old mythos of Santa Claus. This isn't your typical holiday tale. When a band of ruthless mercenaries seize control of the Stone family estate on Christmas Eve, Santa Claus gets thrust into this gripping battle for survival. At its core, David Harbour, stepping into the shoes of the big red man himself, is the linchpin of this film's success. His ability to exude charisma through exhaustion and through adversity carries the weight of the story. Walking the line as this gruff figure weathered by life's challenges, yet never letting go of the essence of Father Christmas. John Leguizamo is also great in this movie. He plays perfectly against Harbour as the villain here. But action takes center stage, delivering intense and creatively crafted fight sequences that don't shy away from the brutality. Yet, beneath the explosions and confrontations, Violent Night threads a message of hope and positivity of redemption, a true testament to the Christmas spirit. But let's not skirt around the obvious, Violent Night doesn't hold back on the violence. You get a nod at To Home Alone throughout this film, while also the finishing moves of a Mortal Kombat fight. So, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? I say to each their own. But Violent Night is a Christmas movie, but it isn't your typical holiday flick. Check this one out if you're in the market for a Christmas movie that packs a punch. Today, we will do mean things, and we will do them in style. On to something that's probably extremely familiar for most of you, and that's the story of The Grinch. Like every Grinch story, the 2018 version of The Grinch and his loyal dog Max live a solitary existence inside a cave on Mount Crumpet. His main source of aggravation comes during Christmas time when his neighbors in Whoville celebrate the holidays with a bang. When the Who's decide to make Christmas bigger and brighter than ever, the disgruntled Grinch realizes there is only one way to gain peace and quiet. With the help of Max, the Green Grump hatches a scheme to pose as Santa Claus, steal Christmas, and silence the Who's holiday cheer once and for all. When I did some research on this and I saw the reviews for this movie on IMDb, I was honestly shocked. There was such a division between people who absolutely loved it and people who hated it. I can assume anybody who really disliked it was a big fan of the Grinch cartoon or the Jim Carrey version, but I thought this movie was really cool and a fun animated movie. I felt like the animation was eye-popping and wonderful. It really looked good on screen and did a good job expanding on the world. Benedict Cumberbatch also kills it as the Grinch. Instead of being this maniacal villain, this Grinch is depicted more as this crabby humbug person who just wants peace and quiet. And Cumberbatch brings that out with a unique charm of humor in, in the voice of the Grinch, perfectly capturing the character's grumpy yet endearing personality. Loved his trusty sidekicks Max, of course, and Fred the Reindeer. I enjoy the fun new spin on the very iconic story and I think that makes it stand on its own. And with a new story, you get t some new characters. Cindy's group of friends, Izzy, Axel, and Ozzy, along with the Grinch's arch nemesis who thinks he's his best friend, Brinklebaum, who adds subplot and just hilarious interactions with the Grinch. But the Who's stay true to who they are in all the stories. They're this lovable group with unwavering belief in the Christmas spirit. Even though the movie is targeted at children, I thought there were plenty of witty humor moments that I thoroughly enjoyed. While this movie takes some liberties upon the original story, it has great animation, top-notch voice acting, it has some excellent humor in it, so I definitely recommend this adaptation of the Dr. Seuss classic. Christmas runs in my family. My dad was Santa, and now it's my brother Nick's turn to wear the hat. Next movie on our list is Noel. We kick off this film with Nick and Noel, played by Bill Hader and Anna Kendrick, the children of Santa Claus. When their father passes away, Nick is supposed to step into the role of Santa. If you don't know where this movie is going after you watch it for the first 10 minutes, then you've probably never watched a Christmas movie before because the whole thing can feel a bit predictable, kind of a mashup of previous Christmas movies, taking elements from movies like Elf, the fish out of water concept from that, and mixing in the standard savior Christmas plot. Then we meet Noelle Kringle. She's a spirited young woman who dreams of following in her father's snowy boot prints. The catch, her family believes only men from the Kringle lineage can don the Santa suit. Feeling sidelined and underestimated, Noelle sets off to rescue Christmas when her brother unexpectedly vanishes, leaving a void at the North Pole. She does this with her childhood nanny Polly at her side. Noelle embarks on this adventure to find Nick and restore the Yuletide cheer. 
Anna Kendricks is beautiful in this. She's absolutely shines as Noel, bringing a blend of determination and this silliness that warms your soul. The movie brims with heartwarming moments, capturing the magic of the season, even though they're in Phoenix, Arizona, where there's no snow. Um, it's still beautiful. The movie is extremely funny from Kendrick, who is hilarious in her own right to Bill Eichner, Bill Hader and Shirley MacLaine by her side. Plenty of laugh out loud moments and just situations that'll make you smile. But like any movie, there are a few aspects to unwrap. You see what I did there? Noel follows a familiar path, making this story easily predictable, like I'd mentioned. But it also radiates this ridiculous amount of positivity. It might feel a tad too sweet in moments and very limited conflict. But despite these slight tears in the wrapping paper, Noel remains a family-friendly treat. It's a cozy, feel-good film that celebrates the essence of Christmas. So if you're looking for a heartwarming flick that's light on the brain and heavy on the festive vibes, Noel is perfect for you this holiday season. What's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. What's this? There's white things in the air. This is probably one of the most iconic and memorable movies on this list, and not just holiday themed movies either, but of any movie. This is Tim Burton's classic, The Nightmare Before Christmas. And some of you may disagree with me on this one, but this is a Christmas movie. Even with it mostly being Halloween themed, it's both a Christmas and a Halloween movie that's great for both holidays. It is unforgettable. I was 10 years old when I first saw this movie. I watch it every single year on Halloween and on Christmas. The characters, the set, the soundtrack, I'll turn it on in the middle of July with my kids and sing Jack's Lament and this is Halloween. It's just so memorable and you can't help but fall in love with it. The Nightmare Before Christmas is centered around Jack Skellington, the pumpkin king of Halloween Town, and his misguided attempt to take over Christmas. But if you delve deeper into the film's themes and symbolism, you'll discover that it's actually embodying the spirit of Christmas in a unique and captivating way. One of the key themes of this Nightmare Before Christmas is the transformative power of Christmas. Jack, initially consumed by the monotony of Halloween, is captivated by the joy and wonders of Christmas, drawn to the idea of spreading happiness and goodwill, even if he initially misunderstands the true meaning of the holiday. As Jack delves deeper into the world of Christmas, he begins to understand the true essence of the season, kindness and the love of Christmas embodies, and he realizes that it's just about it's not just about presents and decorations. The film's stop motion animation is game changing, with its handcrafted characters and meticulous details crafted a magical and enchanting world, along with Danny Elfman, who is a cinematic treasure with the score in this movie, and its catchy tunes, its haunting melodies, it further enhances the film's enchanting atmosphere. So while The Nightmare Before Christmas might not be the traditional mold of a Christmas movie, its themes make it 100% worthy to be on this list. This movie is fun, it's magical, and the power of Christmas firmly establishes it as a holiday classic you're having a christmas party tonight so oh, it's not a christmas party mm. it's a non-denominational holiday mixer more inclusive well whatever you call it it's not happening last on our list is a movie that may be a bit ridiculous and implausible but this is honestly part of its charm and that's the office christmas party when the ceo of Zenitech, carol van stone jennifer aniston threatens to shut down the chicago branch branch manager clay van stone played by tj miller devises a desperate plan to impress a potential client and save the branch from closure Clay decides to throw this awesome or epic office party, hoping to land a major deal and secure the branch's future. As the party spirals out of control as they usually do, Clay and his eccentric team of co-workers, including the uptight chief technical officer Josh and the enthusiastic junior sales associate Allison, engage in a series of hilarious and chaotic misadventures. They clash with the skeptical potential client, they deal with the unexpected guests, and they navigate the pitfalls of office politics and personal relationships. This movie is packed with raunchy humor that will have you laughing out loud multiple times throughout it. The story in the movie is not to be taken too seriously because it's honest with what it is. It's just a comedy movie just to have a good time. Featuring a stellar cast, like I mentioned, Jennifer Aniston, proving again that she's an amazing comedic actress. But Jason Bateman, Olivia Munn, TJ Miller, and Kate McKinnon, just to name a few. Overall, Office Christmas Party is a fun and entertaining holiday movie that will have you laughing from start to finish. It is not a perfect movie, but it's a great choice if you're looking just for some lighthearted holiday comedy. Oh yeah, and I forgot, I do have this one bonus on this list here for you guys, and it's not a movie, but it's an hour special, and I'm a huge superhero fan, and I'm the one making the list, so here we go. So on the calendar that right now on Earth, it's almost Christmas time. In this one, the Guardians of the Galaxy are back, and they're on a mission to save Christmas and make it unforgettable for their beloved Star-Lord, Peter Quill. Still mourning the loss of Gamora, Quill is feeling down and out, so Drax, Rocket, and Mantis and Groot decide to take it upon themselves to bring some holiday cheer to their friend. 
With Christmas just around the corner, the Guardians head to Earth in search of the perfect present for Quill, a real-life Kevin Bacon. Yes, you heard that right, Kevin Bacon. Star-Lord mentions his love for this person numerous times in the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy and is a huge fan of the actor, and the Guardians believe that getting him to meet his idol would make the best Christmas ever. Drax and Mantis being the lovable buffoons of the Guardians, they embark on this quest, they encounter a series of hilarious and heartwarming adventures along the way, and they get caught up in a wacky Santa-themed heist. The special presentation is packed with stunning visuals and catchy tunes that perfectly capture the spirit of the holiday season, and the soundtrack features a mix of classic Christmas carols and new original songs that will get you in the holiday mood. The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special is a must-watch for any fan, obviously, of the MCU, or holiday movies in general. It's just heartwarming, it's hilarious, and it'll leave you feeling festive and inspired, and I couldn't do an Xmas list without including this on it. So that's going to do it for our list today, everybody. Let us know down in the comments which one of these movies stood out to you, which one you maybe you've already seen, or one that you're going to check out right away. But like, comment, subscribe. It helps us get our recommendations out to others. We really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything. Or check out one of our other videos. But until next time, have a great day, everybody.